This is Rebecca, the art director from Faceless Films, and I am here to show you how to age a piece of paper. Make it look old, make it look wrinkly, make it look like it's something from a long, long time ago. It's been stuck up in the attic of Thomas Jefferson, whoever, and however old you want this to look, I'm gonna show you how to do that today. To actually make it, you're gonna need some coffee, and you're gonna need a tray to put your paper in. So first you wanna brew a nice, strong cup of coffee. I have my travel mug here that has some strongly brewed dark coffee. If you don't have coffee, tea will work as well. So you can do either one. If you're going tea, if you're going coffee, either one will work. I've heard wine works too. So if that's what you want in your travel mug, that works for you. You can simply crumple this up. That will give you some texture. Did that scare you? It doesn't have to. We're gonna crumple it, we're gonna open it back up. This is gonna give our map some nice texture after it has the coffee on it. It's just gonna make it look a little bit more old. You can do this a couple of times. The more you do it, the better and older it will look. I think we're ready to pour our coffee. Cheers. Oh, I think it got on the table. <laughs> Shouldn't have poured it from so high. You're gonna pour the coffee over your map. I have strange looking sponges. You can take any sponge and you just wanna make sure you put that coffee into the entire area of your paper. You don't want there to be any dry spots on your paper. And then we carefully flip it. Carefully. This is when your paper can rip. Then you wanna do the same thing on the back. And you don't have to swipe, you don't have to press real hard. You're just trying to get the coffee to go all the way around the paper both sides. This will make your hands smell real good. Carefully. Gonna flip it over. And we're gonna let this soak for five minutes. So leave it there, don't touch it, just let it soak into the coffee and you want it to just hang out for a little bit. So put a timer on for five minutes and you'll be fine. This is supposed to help with the sound line up with the Video. Video. I'm a gullible human being. They made me do this. So the paper has sat for five minutes. Now we're gonna mop up all this extra coffee on here. We might need a lot of paper towels for this. These are really good paper towels. You wanna be careful with this too. Paper's a little bit fragile. Throw these out. You have two options right now. So you can either, one, use your handy dandy blow dryer, or two, you can stick this in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes at 200 degrees. We're gonna do blow dryer for right now. It could take a while. You can continue to mop up some of the coffee if you're impatient, like me. Again, don't use this while you're in the bathtub or in the shower or in the pool. You don't want to get any type of water near the plug. Don't use it while it's raining outside. This can be dangerous in the wrong hands. Don't lift up the paper when you're blow drying. Bad things could happen. Or you could just put it in your oven. Make sure if you're using an oven, you know how to use it. Luckily, this baking tray is magic. And just like in cooking shows, there's a finished product here for us. And when you use the oven instead of the hair dryer, you get this really nice browned edge to it. So you know that your paper is going to be done in the oven once the edges start to curl up a little bit. That's when you know you can take it out because you don't want this to burn up. We might want parts of it burned, but we don't want the whole thing wrecked. 
Even after this is done, you could use a lighter, you could add some shoe polish to it, you could rub some dirt on the side, make it really, really nasty, make it look like it's been in someone's upstairs attic for a long time, whatever you wanna do to really make it look old. This is Rebecca, the art director from Faceless Films. Make sure to follow us on social media, like, subscribe, comment. We'd love to see what you do. See you guys.